poison that huh. causes ringing in the ears. How are you and your husband getting along, Marie? Um, I actually don't have a, a husband. I'm, I'm single. Um, but um, is there anyone that stands to benefit from your immediate demise? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably my dog, Mama Cass. <laughs> well, I, I'm sure you just get love and kisses from Mama Cass. But uh, so all of these things, everything from uh, external ear conditions, and if it's serious and really bothersome, um, there there are some simple medications or things to be done. But if it's really a problem, then then perhaps they need to perform a CT or MRI of your ear to be sure there's uh-huh. no no serious condition of the inner ear, such as okay. Well, there are, there are tumors such as glomus tumors and acoustic neuromas and serious serious illnesses. I don't want to scare you, Marie. I'm sure it's none of those things. But all of yeah. these things do need to be evaluated to make sure uh, uh, they're not a significant problem for you. Okay, and so would you recommend doing that as soon as possible or uh, kind of wait to see? Because it's been going on for about three months now, so... Uh, I guess that all depends on your deductible, Marie. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm working my way to um, completing that. So, well, if you made your deductible, you, uh, you know, and this is bothersome, yeah, I'd recommend getting it, getting it, uh, getting it looked at by all means. Do you use uh, okay. anything to clean your ears? Mm, no, just you know, like Q-tips every now and then. Q-tips. Okay, yeah. you've gotten away from the Swiss Army knife. Yep. Yep. I'm no longer using that. So. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, well, I mean, uh, in the absence of any mechanical obstruction or something very simple, and if this is bothersome and occurs on a regular basis, uh, by all means, I'd recommend you get it evaluated. Okay, well, sounds good. Well, thank you guys for your um, for your help and your advice. Thank you very much for calling, Marie. Thank you, Marie. Great okay, call. thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. And, you know, that is a great call because there are many people that are dealing with tinnitus, and, and it may have been maybe going on for months or years, uh, many times it comes and goes, or it even just stays, and they don't necessarily do anything about it. So, uh, And it's important to see the right kind of doctor. Of course, you start with your internist, but uh, beyond that, you then want to see an, uh, a good board-certified ear, nose, and throat physician. Very good. Uh, very good. Neurologists are very knowledgeable in this problem, but they don't uh, deal with um, the mechanical problems that, are, that occur in the ear. Okay. Um, one of my good neurology friends, uh, Dr. Aiken Head, uh, uh, <laughs> he, sees, he sees a lot of tinnitus, and uh, again, he refers it out. Very good. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know, Dr. Aiken Head. I know you have Aikenhead. some. Come on, tell us some of your funny other no, doctor uh, names. I, uh, no, I, I mean, I have several. List. I do have several consultants that we use uh, at LM Medical Center. Um, of course, there's my favorite urologist, a close friend. Uh, Dr. Ivana T- Tinkle. <laughs> oh, man. Dr. Ivana has a great sense of humor and very loving hands. Uh, and, and our gastroenterologist, our staff gastroenterologist, uh, staff gastro is uh, Dr. Pupilots. Oh, and And when he's gosh. out, we have Dr. Iki Heine come in and, and stand in for him. Oh, you're getting so but close. But we do, we do okay, have, no more. We have a no full more. compliment. We have a full compliment of other other consultants and physicians. Uh, addiction medicine, we deal a little bit in that. Dr. Bud Weiser is on staff. And uh, infectious disease, Dr. Ebola. So you come in, you bring your problem in. If I can't take care of it, we have a list of consultants to help you. Oh, good Lord. You know, it's a good thing you're a doctor, a medical doctor, and not a comedian. <laughs> you don't think that. Because I quit not, my day job. Do not quit the day job. <laughs> you just keep treating people and their illnesses. This is a tough crowd. Thank you for the rich. I All love right, it. God perfect. Uh, speaking of... Uh, Referrals and, yes, and and visiting doctors' offices. Yeah. I had a special for my office, and I twisted your arm until you offered the same special to come into your office. And the office was anyone who calls in uh, during the show tonight uh, to either of our offices with your first uh, your initial visit. Uh, your first consultation is absolutely no charge. And you also get a free sample of BioFreeze. Now, I say BioFreeze because I'm a chiropractor, and most people that come to see me are dealing with pain. Uh, may not be quite as appropriate in your office, but certainly just about everybody knows someone that may need a <coughs> remedy for pain. So um, anyone who calls in, uh, Dr. Dr. Blum's office number in Carrollwood is 813-443-5390. Uh, my office in uh, Clearwater here is 727-216-3216. And if anybody from the, <clears throat> excuse me, Hillsborough Sheriff's 
County office is listening. The samples do not include OxyContin. <laughs> so please don't come in looking for that. Oh, absolutely. You, no. you get a lot of, uh, you are constantly weeding out, and for lack of a better word, weeding out people that are just looking for those medications. That is another reason why I really appreciate your office, because you don't put up with that. You, you pretty quickly tell them. Well, there are, there are a lot of people uh, certainly in need of this. Uh, been in severe high-speed motor vehicle accidents. They have metal rods going up and down their back, uh, a fractured pelvis, acetabula. I mean, obviously, there are, you know, we have a patient that's quadriplegic or partial quadriplegic. So there are, there are people that are really suffering a lot from non-malignant pain. Um, but unfortunately, th- this is a big problem in our society. It is. Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to thank everyone for, uh, for listening tonight to us, to our very first show of the Hit and Run Medical Hour. Um, it has been absolute pleasure, Dr. Blum, as Dr. always. Gaines, I can't thank you enough. You are too good to me. No, oh, you're too good to me. <laughs> I saved your life. <laughs> you did save my life. And you, you hate chiropractors. I don't, I don't hate chiropractors. <laughs> Uh, that's what you yeah. said the first time I met you. I did say that, but and, that's only because wait, 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 I, I just like you intensely. <laughs> oh, we're all set. Well, thank, thank you, you for... very much. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Very good.